okay. It's cool, it's cool. You're beautiful, by the way. You wanna go out with me? Well, not my first time, won't be my last. In this video, we're gonna answer three questions. Are creature skateboards durable? Are they good? And should you buy one? So aside from just those three main points, we're gonna cover a few other questions as well. What is the shape? Pros and cons of the shape. How's the pop? How long does the pop last? Does the board chip? Did it get soggy? How long did it last? Yeah, like how many sessions? And would I buy another? All this and more brought to you by Local Joe. Subscribe for more content. All right, so today we are reviewing the Dreyas Creature Pro model. It's 31.6 inches long and 8.0 inches wide. The wheelbase is around 14 inches. The tail's a little bit shorter than the nose. I don't know the exact measurements. The con cave is pretty mellow as well it's a little bit steeper and the tail is also pretty low so let's go over some of the pros and the cons of the shape one pro is that a lower more mellow tail provides a more responsive pop so it makes flip tricks a little bit more snappy and quick now the creature has a really mellow concave which makes the turning less responsive which I don't really care about along with the tail being mellow it's also shorter and again a shorter tail is gonna make a faster pop it's a faster lever basically it breaks down to this you can choose to have a ton of power in your shape or a lot of control and responsiveness. This board definitely favors responsiveness over power, which for me, I really, really like. So the pop in this board is super, super crispy. Every single creature board that I've gotten, and this is probably like my sixth, every single one has been super, super snappy. And I personally appreciate that. A super snappy board is generally a sign that the board is gonna be a lot more durable as well, and we'll get to that later. Now the crispiness of the pop probably lasted me like a solid two weeks until one day I was doing like board slides over and over and over again and I cracked the center of my board and then the crispiness of the tail was still good but there was a lot of give when I went to pop my tail down when you're a big boy you're really putting your board through its paces because if something's off you will know about it really quick the creature board stayed crispy for two weeks which honestly I was super super pleased with I didn't have any problems with the board chipping so as far as chips go this is the worst that actually happened the board chipped a little bit kind of like busted it in and then I like smashed it down and that's how it ended Ended up looking like really not a bad chip at all if you ever skated creature before you'll know that they dip most of their boards which means that basically there's a layer of paint around the entire board and I feel like this somehow seals the board really really well so there's no problems with moisture getting in and making the board like soggy or ruining the structural integrity of the board so I've really never had a problem with creature boards chipping the wood itself always felt like it was firm and solid all the way up into the end even to right now that's still crispy. Yeah, still good. So the next question is how long did the board last? So this board lasted me just about 30 days. And for the first two weeks, the board literally had zero problems. I had no complaints whatsoever. So on week three, I started to have some minor problems with the board. And that was just because I was doing so many board slides. And when I'm doing a board slide on a rail, that is putting a ton of pressure on the board. And so doing that for two weeks straight, it just took its toll and eventually the board started to crack a little bit. If I had a larger repertoire of rail tricks, I think the board would lasted me a lot longer and stayed crispier and fresher all the way up until like the three week to four week period. Then week four, the board started getting super bad. So although I cracked the board doing board slides for a while, I stopped doing board slides because I thought I was gonna break my board. But then I skated on my board for like all of week three without doing board slides and it was feeling like pretty good. So then one day I ordered my next board and then I started doing board slides because I was like, what the heck, this thing's gonna break. I'm gonna get my new board, it's not a big deal. And then the board, even like cracked and damaged as it was lasted me all the way through week four doing board slides like no problem it only broke when I was trying to relearn front side flip and my foot came down on it weird and just like snapped it in the middle but really really impressed with the construction of this creature deck and then week five the board got run over rest in peace David Reyes, Creature Pro Model. I loved you, we shared many good memories together, and I'll always miss you. So the next question is, would I buy another? And the answer is absolutely yes. I would definitely buy a Creature Board again. It used to be that a few years ago, Creature wasn't quite as popular as they are now, so you could always find their boards on discount online, and so I would get like Creature decks for like 30 bucks. Now you can't find like any on clearance ever, unless like you're really, really, really shopping, because these boards honestly are so well constructed, they are so durable, 
comfortable that they take so much time to make their boards just perform so well. The construction and everything is just done so proper that they deserve for their company to be doing well. All right, so now that we spent all this time talking about creature decks, I just got a package in the mail from Tactics Board Shop. Obviously, I'm not good enough to be sponsored or anything, but I'm just so stoked to get these new boards that I wanted to open up on camera, so let's check it out. Got two decks here. This is like Christmas morning. So we've got a Tactics Cloud Board. Hope you can see that. I'm super stoked on this board. Not only because the logo looks super clean, I, I love the white and gray, but the top ply is black. I love the black top ply. So I got this board kind of as a backup because I hated breaking a board and not having something to skate. All right, so next up, we've got a Crooked Board. I've heard that Crooked Boards are super duper durable. I got this board in an 825. I think it has a mellow concave, and it's got, it looks like a more mellow, smaller tail, which is very similar to the creature board. So let me know if you have any questions about these boards or about the creature deck, but I'm gonna set these up and I'm gonna go skate. Talk to you later guys, peace.